guys, Georgia Streamer here, and today I have for you a crazy 2v2 on Rome Total War Online multiplayer. I am playing as the Seleucids, and my teammate Lado is playing as Macedon. So, my army consists of a ton of silver, sh uh, silver shield pikes, some silver shield legionnaires, and some peltists, along with some archers, and some militia hoplites. Where are they? There they are. Yes. Uh. Excuse me. I had a crap ton of pizza, and it was delicious. So my cap contingent consists of Greek cab and companion cavalry, and uh, let's check this out. Looks like Pontus charged up some Pontic heavy cab, and the companion cab fought it off. I brought Peltus to deal with the chariots that Pontus and Egypt would most certainly bring. So look at this jumbled mess right here. There's Pontic heavy cab and Pontic chariots, and some bronze shields mixed in there with some archers. And some Pontic Light Cab as well. So let's check out. Uh, got my Greek Cav. I think my Greek Cav get owned. I don't really care about my Cav in this battle. Kinda use them badly, I guess, because I don't really care about them, as I said. Uh, got some bronze shields, some archers, chariots, of course. Let's check out Egypt. Egypt has some Pharaoh's guards, Desert Cav, Bowmen. Side chariots for Pontus, and these guys have some Egyptian chariots as well. Some more Pharaoh's bowmen, and some more Nubian, Nubian spearmen. Don't see these guys too often. They look really Zulu. If they actually had Zulus in this game, that would be amazing. But they're all the way in the south of Africa. Very tip. So forget I said that, because it would never happen. <laughs> Unless someone makes a mod for me, that'd be cool. I would totally play as the Zulus and like decimate Rome. I'd only be using impies. <laughs> so I got my Peltis as a waste unit as well as a unit to deal with chariots. And I got my archers trying to fire into the flanks or inspire Egypt to move against me. So our opponents are freaking everywhere basically. And Macedon managed to fight off the little expeditionary force or whatever Pontus sent off. I'm gonna fast forward a little to get to some action. So, as you can see, I'm moving up my army to face the Egyptians on that flank. Meanwhile, my Macedonian friend is going to have to deal with the main brunt of the enemy. I'm gonna send in. I have a few units to uh, assist in this battle for outflanking purposes. And I got my Peltis. Tim Peltis. Oh, let's check out the Illyrian mercenaries. You don't see these guys often pretty badass looking all right enough of that distraction I think my archers are just getting torn up no they will get torn up by the Pharaoh's bowmen or just the bowmen I think bowmen are superior to regular archers I'm not sure set up a companion cab because he really doesn't have that much cavalry to uh, you know stop this charge And his cab is way too far away. And I believe he has more infantry moving up. And he has his chariots moving up. I flamed the chariots for quite some time, but they just did not die. So now our armies are setting up for the final set piece battle. Charges the chariots in. I go into pike formation just the right time. Got my militia hoplites. I want to get rid of these chariots. I don't like chariots. They're very mean. And it looks like my companion cab got owned by these desert cab right here. So let's check out what's going on. Uh, over here. Yeah, Egypt. Looks like Egypt and Pontus are trying to overwhelm Macedon's pikes. But Macedon's going for an extreme outflanking maneuver. Meanwhile, I'm just mob rushing my guys. My guys don't even have to go into freaking pike formation to deal with these silly Nubians. Their skill is in their name. Nubian. Ha ha ha. If you're a Nubian, I don't actually mean it. It was just a crappy joke. So now our pike fight is starting to start. It's starting to start. Gosh, I'm so tired. I just commentated like a zillion battles tonight. So lots of epicness going on right now. And finally, his Pharaoh's guards are punching through my Silver Shield Pikes. 
I have some militia hoplites in reserve. I love militia hoplites. And meanwhile, I just wiped the floor with most of his troops over here. These guys already routed like once or twice. So my legionnaires and phalanx python can easily turn these guys to dust. And I got one unit into flank. Alright, let's check out what's going on over here. This looks epic. Pontus went in for the phalanx charge, but it was kind of a bad phalanx charge. Meanwhile, there's missile fire being exchanged everywhere. And, yeah. I'm finally starting to win on this wing against the Egyptian Pharaoh's guards with a uh, major outflanking movement of my militia hoplites. Yeah, militia hoplites. And he's charging in some Pharaoh's guards and spearmen and Nile Cav, but they just run straight into my pikes. And pretty much wasted their only advantage, which were the chariots. And, uh, yeah. Pontus is not doing so hot against Macedon right now. And I'm destroying Egypt. Meanwhile, my dudes are trying to chase off part of the other e part of the Egyptian army over there. Same over here. And at this point in the battle, we pretty much won because we destroyed the infantry forces of our opponents. The gods have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. And let's see what Egypt's going on over here. Guess they still have some chariots that came back from routing or whatever. Might do a last stand type thing, I'm not sure. So his units are just being annoying. You know, bowmen, run away, shoot, run away, shoot. Even though they know they're gonna die. So there's a nice glory charge right here. So we're trying to chase off their units before they come back from routing and before they can mount a an actual resistance. So I turn into phalanx formation at just the right time. And I kill two units of cav at the same time. Which is funny. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. That guy's pretty darn loud, don't you agree? So my dudes are finally catching up and destroying the enemies. This is a victory pit for the gods, a day of triumph to mark with a song or two. So good game to my opponents. I'm gonna fast forward this. That uh, was a fun battle, really crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll just show you the battle statistics, why not? Uh, let's see who got the most kills. Silver Shield Pikes, of course. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe for more, guys.